This could be the last episode of the Nottingham Forest. I'm not ready for this. I'm not ready to wrap up one of my favorite ever career modes, but we gotta get it done. It's been an honor. Last episode, we kicked out one of the favorites from the Champions League in Bayern Munich. That gives me a bit of hope. Just take a look at how we dominated that game. They will exploit it to the fullest, so we've got to be careful here. Neko Williams with the dangerous cross. Oh, what? That ball simply sensational. I was not expecting to score that. Oh, Almada. Oh, what have I just seen? What have I just seen from Almada, bro? Oh, Martial, Martial, Martial. He's got the strength. He's got an over Bastoni. Brilliantly done by Anthony Martial. That's why I trust him. When it matters, he's always there. And so with that, we're in the Champions League quarterfinals. But who are we going to face? Spurs have knocked out Barca, so it could be them. Or AC Milan or Porto. Could be Sevilla as well. Like, the level of competition doesn't seem all that insane. Okay, now we're seeing the likes of Juventus and Real Madrid and, well, Liverpool out as well. Let it go through. Interesting. But who are we going to face? Sevilla. Honestly, I'll take that. That is a good draw for us. But let's not underestimate them. Let's make it to the semis. Also, guys, last episode was good in terms of building our squad, signing Guardiol. Are you guys seeing this man play for Croatia at the World Cup? He is insane. And trust me, with that 90 pace, he's going to be a beast for us too. But let's do this, boys. This is the episode we win the Champions League with Nottingham Forest. I'll be real, guys. We're going to keep the entire focus on the Champions League because let's be real, the Premier League does not matter now. It's everything to be given in the Champions League so we can win the ultimate prize. So let's get this one against Wolves out of the way and just pick up the three points. There you go. Now we're talking. To be fair though, we aren't doing all that bad in the Premier League. Only eight points off the top. We might have an outside chance of winning it. We'll have to keep an eye on how things progress. For now, it's time for the big game. Champions League, Nottingham Forest versus Sevilla. I'm worried, but you know what? I think we've got the better team. Let's get it done. Bro, to think this could be the last episode of the Nottingham in forest career mode man it's gonna be emotional tell you what once we wrap up this season do you guys want to see like a 10 season takeover with nottingham forest we could maybe continue this in like a separate video that could be a good idea but if you need that i need y'all to drop a like in the video and subscribe as well oh we have a first chance of this game ward prowse lovely ball for martial nope. first time oh what an attempt that was good save from the keeper how is my man isco still playing and running like that i don't get it chalaba saves us oh here we go Cody Gakpo. We're gonna go for Martial. You're blocking my own attack. What are you guys doing? Guys, what have they fed Isco? How is he getting into these positions? We committed too much, and now they've got a chance. No! They've put it wide. We're so lucky. And that's how the game finishes. First leg against Sevilla. Nil nil. Nothing to separate the two teams. And dare I say it, Sevilla looked better. This second leg against Sevilla. If we play like that first leg, I can already see the script of this game going to penalties and us bottling it. I do not want to see that happening. We need to win this game and make it to the Champions League semi-finals. Guys, we're playing at home. We can do this. I'm thinking, do I want to make any kind of changes? Bro, this squad is so good. There's like, I don't think any player from the bench like improves this team at all. We're going to stick to our guns. Let's get it done. You know what? Maybe we did end up like underestimating Sevilla from that first leg. You guys know they've got great experience in European competition. So that can't happen. This game, let's take it completely seriously. Get the job done. What Prowse, what a ball that is for Rodrigo. Nope. No, that is an unbelievable save from the Sevilla keeper. That was so well worked. Gonna take the short corner. It always works for me to create at least kind of a semi chance or something. Rodrigo now. Looking with that dribble. Might have a chance of going for that cross for Gakpo. Okay, that was not well worked at all. Martial, lovely ball for Rodrigo. And I see that run. Almada on the volley first time. He puts it wide. No. Thiago Almada, you're on your left foot as well. Oh, he was onside too. All these missed chances, they're making me feel like, you know, this game's going to go to penalties and we're going to have heartbreak. I do not want that, boys. We need to win this in the 90. Oh, when Cody Gakpo runs like that, very tough to stop him. And it's Anthony Martial who's broken through. He taps it forward. Big chance. 
chance. And Martial does not disappoint. He's not having the best this season in terms of goals. But when it matters, Anthony Martial delivers. He's going to become one of the greatest players ever for Nottingham at this rate. One and up, boys. Now, we need to just, you know, just keep calm. We defend, we survive, and we'll be in the Champions League semis. Oh, Anthony Martial through. Anthony Martial is through. Could we get another goal? And yes, indeed, we get another goal, boys. Anthony Martial has stepped up when we needed him the most. Nottingham Forest 2-0. And as things stand, we're heading to the Champions League semis. Oh, Anthony Martial is about to get himself a hat trick. Unselfishly lays it off for Cody Gakpo. That's it. It's done. In this first half, we've absolutely crushed any hopes that Sevilla had. They did so well to hang on in that first leg, but nah. Nothing is stopping us from winning the Champions League this season. The game actually finishes 5-1, and on we go. The semi-finals. Okay, who are we going to face now in the semi-finals? I am certainly worried. Um, It could be Atletico Madrid have destroyed Spurs, AC Milan, or Real Madrid. Oh boy, some really historic clubs, but who are we facing in the semi-finals? Atletico Madrid. Okay, two legs against Diego Simeone's men. They're going to be draining. Meanwhile, in the Premier League, we've got a couple of big games against Chelsea and Man City, and I am going to play them. I don't think we've got a shot at winning the title because Man United are way clear, but, but let's see how far we can get. I don't know why in the Premier League we always find ourselves in these situations. Havertz, oh my god, I actually dived the wrong way, but the trailing leg of Dean Henderson managed to save it. Oh my god, Pulisic threw on Denied. goal. Dean Henderson, wow. Honestly, wow. He's had a stellar game. Ossiman, no, this is bad, this is bad. Off the crossbar. Bro, we're, we're surviving. I don't know why we can't get our Champions League form in the Premier League. Yeah, this was dead. This was like a silly nil-nil. Like, what's the point in the Premier League right now for us? I'll be real, guys. We're in a situation where, like, it doesn't matter. Like, whatever we do in the Premier League, it doesn't matter. We should still get top four, I think. But we're not winning the league. It's basically over. I think I'm just going to focus then on the Champions League, boys. We're going to sit this one out against City. Get the game out of the way. And what? Okay, this is worrying. How did our first team lose 4-0 to Man City? That is a bit worrying, I'm not going to lie. Anyways, I still believe we should have enough in the tank to get top four. Okay, now that I look at it, maybe not. Top four might be tough. Regardless then, focus is completely on the Champions League. Let's just do everything to win this and wrap it up. Also, guys, this might be the competition I also focus on as well because we've managed to reach the FA Cup semi-finals. We're almost there. Uh, we're going to be playing at Wembley. I think we need to take this seriously. I do want to try and win the FA Cup. But guys, for this game, we're going to use our second team. I'm sorry. The likes of Ivan Tony. Um, we'll have Sam Arnold. Brennan Johnson play too. Definitely making a fair few changes because we've soon got the Champions League semis and that matters more. But this is still a strong team. Oh, Ivan Tony has found a bit of space to run into. Does he have the pace? I think he might just have the pace. And he's got the finish as well. Ivan Tony, the man from the first season, our leader in that season. He's now just a backup player. But when it matters, you can always depend on him. Scores the first goal. We take the lead in the FA Cup. And that one goal from Ivan Tony, enough to send us into an FA Cup final. Hey, if we can't win the Premier League, I don't mind winning the FA Cup and the Champions League in our final season. That'd be a dub. And there's that. We're going to be up against Arsenal in the FA Cup final. And I'm surely going to be playing that game. Today's video is sponsored by myself. Well, my own shop, S2G.shop, where you guys can get PSN or Xbox codes for great prices. Get yourself FIFA 23, FIFA points, or basically whatever you want. Use code S2G10 at checkout. Links in the description. Gotta keep the FA Cup stuff beside us now, because right now, Champions League semi-finals against Atletico Madrid. This is it, guys. This Nottingham Forest team we've built over the last four seasons. It's time to put them to the test at the highest level against Atletico, which is not going to be easy, but I believe in this team. Let's do this. Oh my god, look at the dressing room. Everybody's ready. I'm hyped for this. Game has kicked off. Champions League semi-finals. Atletico Madrid. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Already they're putting in the hard challenges. That's how they're going to play. That's how a Diego Simeone side plays. Bro, when Gakpo runs like this, there's just very little you can do. Look at him drive the ball Denied. forward like that. What a save from all black. I'm trying a corner into the box. Why do I do that? I should just, just, just pass it around from corners. That's the way. Look at this short corner nope. taken and we almost scored off it. Oh, another chance and another corner. Bro, I'm telling you guys, on this game... 
Short corners are literally the truth. You can, like, create a chance out of nothing here. Rodrigo chipping it back in. Ah, oh, cleared away. Look at the fans, boys. We've got to do it for them. Lorente. Oh, I don't like this. Easy. No, 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 no. Clear it away. Kim Henderson caught it. That was a bit scary. Oh, Marcel looking for Rodrigo. Go on. What a touch. There he goes. This is why we've got a Brazilian. No, Martial. Please. Anthony Martial. It's always him. It is always him. He scored against, of course, uh, in the quarterfinals for us. Got the job done against Sevilla. And now he's back again against the Letico Madrid. He loves scoring against the Spaniards, doesn't he? Uh, Rodrigo, you should have scored him. But it's fine. We're one nil up. I, I won't lie, guys. This team is something special. Like, it's able to produce game after game something ridiculous. Ridiculous. Catch it, bitch. Oh, that is a lovely challenge from Guardiola. We're, we're, we're really getting stuck into this game. We're not letting Atletico just walk through us. It's been a great performance, and these guys aren't as well. Like, it's been a really physical game. No, this is bad. This is bad. Ja Felix through. He goes for the cutback, and there's Marcus Norente waiting. No, it's 1-1. Atletico get a goal back. That goal was all Ja Felix, by the way. He created that out of nothing. Oh, Rodrigo, how did you do that? It's kind of worked for him, and here he goes. Rodrigo with a chance. He goes for goal. Easy. That shot had no power. Anyways, half time. 1-1. One, one. Inside for Martial. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely. Gapo rebound someone. No. Anthony Martial is having an all-time great performance in the Champions League. Gapo needed to score that. Ward Prowse. Oh, that's a good release for Renan Lodi and a lovely ball for Martial, but the keeper read that one well. This is looking like it's going to be a one-all draw and the second leg's going to decide, but we're playing at home now. The second leg's going to be away. I do not want to be at the wonder in a must-win game scenario. That won't be good for us. Anthony Martial. Oh, that's brilliant, but Jan Oblak is one hell of a keeper as well. Ja Felix is on the attack and he's got the better of Guardiola. They've got a proper chance. That interception from Williams. Clutch. Oh, no, they've got a chance. Steen Henderson saves, and that was the last kick of the game. This game is going to the second leg in a very even scenario. We gave it everything, boys. 1-1. One, one. We've got to do it in the second leg. Just as I was gearing up for the second leg against Atleti, it's happened. Rodrigo has injured himself in training. He's torn his hamstring. How do you tear your hamstring in training, man? Oh, it's such a bummer. He's actually having a good season on down the right flank. 12 goals, 5 assists, but it's the chances he creates with his pace, but we're not going to have him now for the rest of the season. His season is over. But could this mean we're about to witness something special from Sam Arnold? Yes, I genuinely prefer Sam Arnold to Brendan Johnson. I think we're going to use Sam Arnold down the right flank for the rest of the season and see how it goes from the youth academy, a Nottingham boy through and through. This is it for him. It's time for the second leg against Atletico Madrid. Oh, their team, this is not going to be easy. It's 1-1. One, one. Everything to play for. Let's do this. I remember a few seasons ago, something similar happened. Sam Arnold was called upon in an FA Cup game, and he came on and delivered. So I'm really hoping the same thing happens here. Felix, and that's Guardiola. This is why I think he's genuinely one of the best defenders on this game. And just as I say that, he almost gets pressurized by Rashford. Does well. But yeah, he just makes me feel secure at the back. Oh, Almada getting taken out. Atletico playing dirty football there. And did I just see Thiago Almada pick up a knock or something? Is he still fit? No, it looks like he's hurt himself. I'm still going to use him, man, because who am I going to bring on? Jesse Lingard? I don't think so. Hopefully, he can still continue. But I, I figured out what Atletico are trying to do. They're trying to pull the stick out of this game. And I don't know what to do now. We have a chance here with Renan Lodi. Cut back Easy. inside. Uh, almost. I'm legit hoping Almada can walk off this injury. But, boys. It is not looking good. Uh, he, he's messing up the passes. Second half, we might need to sub him off. Marcus Lorente charging forward. Good stuff from Renan Lodi. He's playing against his former club, by the way. It goes Cody Gakpo. And I do see that run from Sam Arnold. Brilliant stuff. No, he's went for the cheeky chip, Sam. You tried to be the hero there, but just... Uh, I wish I would have just gone for a power shot or something. That was the chance to take the lead. Now, Atletico growing into this game, but we've got a really good back line, and it's working so far. It's been such a midfield battle. This game could go to penalties, and I'm worried. Even though Almada is hurt, I think I'm still going to keep him on the pitch. I need him to deliver. Almada is a legend, man. You know, being injured, he's still out there 
there doing everything he can. Anthony Martial, who's been scoring for us always when needed. Right now, it's Sam Arnold inside for nope. Cody Gakpo. Finds a bit of space, but there was no space. Atletico defending like their lives depend on it. Okay, how did Rashford just not make me there? Nope. This is not good. What a save from Dean Henderson. Saves like that win you Champions Leagues. But yeah, my man Guardiola just got absolutely destroyed. Bro, what was that? Almada controls that one like a phenom and here he goes. The next Messi, he's injured, but he's still giving it everything. Releases it for Cody Gakpo. And now goes Gakpo. But no strength. Atletico have done so well against us. Sam Arnold, good touch inside. Back for Cody. Denied. Goes for gold or black with the save. I think Almada's given everything, boys, but I don't think he can continue. Who do I bring on? Jesse Lingard? No, I think Brennan Johnson. That extra bit of pace in that cam roll might just work. Brennan Johnson's come on. I really didn't thought he's going to be playing a big role for us again this season, but yeah, he is. And he's looking fast. That might be helpful. Ward Prowse. I can see that passing lane for Gakpo. And oh, he's found it brilliantly. Cody Gakpo with the chance. Goes for goal and he slots it home in the 78th minute. We needed something special. And it's a special player that gets us that goal. Cody Gakpo puts his 1-0 up. We need to now just survive for the next 10 minutes. Somehow, just survive. Bro, I, I kid you not. I I'm going to make defensive changes. I think what we're going to do is sub off Martial. And bring on Nia Kate And move to like a 5-2-3 formation. Alright guys, for the last 10 minutes of this game, we are... Are just going five at the back with only one job to survive. Martial, you've done your job this season. Now it's time for us to just defend and survive. We're doing a Diego Simeone against him. Like, yeah. And actually, on the breakaway, we might have more attacks like this. Brennan Johnson playing as a center forward in this game. It's actually looking good, man. We and we've got look at that. So many players at the back ready to defend and put in those challenges. And that's exactly what we need. Exactly like that. Let's keep the ball as well. Ward Prowse has had a phenomenal game. What a pass for Sam Arnold. Brennan Johnson now. And it's over. Sam Arnold and Brennan Johnson combined. Nottingham Forest are heading to a Champions League final. Look at everyone celebrate. The tactics were spot on. We managed to soak up the pressure. Hit them on the break. And it's looking like we've got a date with destiny in the Champions League final. It's done, boys. We're heading to a Champions League final. I'm very interested to see who we're going to be up against. And so it is Real Madrid will be up against in the Champions League final. It, it's fitting it's them. It really is. This could be the final game of the series. Meanwhile, in the Premier League, things aren't really going that well. We are tumbling down because the focus has completely been Champions League. We aren't going to get top four, but hey, if we can win Champions League, that's it. We won the Premier League last season. It's fine. Up next, though, we've got an FA Cup final and it's so freaking fitting it's against Arsenal. Why you ask? Well, who remembers Anthony Alanga and how he betrayed us to join Arsenal and now we're there to ruin his hopes of winning a trophy. He said he can't win trophies at Nottingham. Well, we're not going to let you win trophies at Arsenal. Let's beat them in this FA Cup final. But one massive issue we've got is that Thiago Almada with that challenge in that game has suffered a broken toe. He's out as well. We've just lost both Almada and Rodrigo for the rest of the season. Season. We need to figure out a way to now play. Like, is, is Jesse Lingard going to be the man? Of course not. I think it'll be Brennan Johnson and Sam Arnold this way. I think that's the best way to make it work. But for this FA Cup final against Arsenal, I just feel like Jesse Lingard needs to play. His final game as a professional footballer. Who remembers that iconic free kick? Roll the clip. Jesse Lingard outside the boot. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm doing this. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! And so Oh, yes, I'm playing Jesse Lingard in the FA Cup final, bro. If he manages to score. Fun fact, they don't even start Elanga. I don't get it. If he comes off, I do want to give him like a two-foot challenge. Let's see what happens. This could be the first of two trophies. Let's do it. Okay, Arsenal, what just happened? They just opened it up for us and we might have just scored the fastest goal I've ever scored in career mode. I don't know how Gakpo just got that kind of pace. He just ran through the Arsenal defense and killed them. Bro, what was that? Cody Gakpo. Unbelievable. He's the guy we signed to replace Alanga. There's exactly why. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. And Arsenal get back into it. They just had a moment of lapse of concentration at the start. That's why they conceded early. They've got a good team. And Bukayo Saka is a gem of a player. Arsenal back in this. Ward Prowse. That's Lingard's first touch. 
and he is he does not feel the same but he's still giving it his all but yeah as i just said it's it's not the same and let's hope he can continue at least putting in a decent shift saka running through that's brilliant defending from Renan Lodi we need to do that more with Saka because you give him the kind of space he got for that first goal he's gonna punish you and look at his work rate oh this is scary this is really scary now Saka scored again we, we talked about Alanga and everything but it's Bukayo Saka who's just been phenomenal for them fair enough two on up Martial looking for Gakpo we've opened them up Cody Gakpo, but this Easy. time they know how to defend against him. Uh, they figured him out, it looks like. We are really missing both Almada and Rodrigo in this game. And this has got me really worried for the Champions League final. We've given Arsenal a free kick. Like, oh my god. This is too good of a position. They're probably going to score, aren't they? I'm getting a player on the line. It's off the post. We're surviving. We need to keep this 2-1. And we have. Second half needs to be a lot better. I love Jesse Lingard. He's been a hero for us, but he's not good enough right now. He's done his job. Brennan Johnson, you come on now. Kamavinga. Oh, that's a risky one, but it's worked. We got to be aggressive like that. The substitution is yet to be made. So one last involvement for Jesse Lingard. He does really well. Ball inside for Martial. And look what has just happened. Anthony Martial gets us the equalizer. Let's go, boys. Jesse Lingard's last ever play as a professional footballer. And he helped set up the goal. That's what the kind of player he is. My goat, Jesse Lingard. And Sam Arnold did really well as well. And we're back in this. Oh, we might have a chance here. Martial. She's Renan Lodi. Renan Lodi. Why is he there? Of all players, but he almost just scored. I'm just checking. 75th minute. Has Anthony Alanga been brought on? He's still a sub and not even brought on, bro. Man's finished. That's why he shouldn't have left us, dude. Shaloba now. Oh, he skips past one. Looking for Brennan Johnson. We know how quick he can be. Sam Arnold. Looking in for Martial. Martial take off. Oh, it's a ridiculous own goal. We are so freaking lucky. What an own goal to put us 3-2 up. Oh my God, the luck. But that doesn't happen if we don't create the chance. So I'm going to give Martial the credit for that. It's done, boys. We've just won the FA Cup again with Nottingham Forest. Let's go, boys. Wasn't this the first trophy I think we ever won in this series and in the final season? It's a bit emotional that we've won it again. It's going to give us good momentum to take into that Champions League final. Meanwhile, the Premier League season has come to an end and we end up finishing in sixth spot, which is bad, especially since we won the league last season. But hey, it doesn't discount the fact that we've made a Champions League final. And if we were doing another season, we win this. We get that Champions League spot anyway. So I think the sacrifice has been worth it. We're going to give it everything in this final. But yeah, looking at the stats in the Premier League, we surprisingly didn't have anyone in the top 15 that, that's weird how has that happened oh yeah it's because martial didn't really have that insane season of gold Gakpo was i think our top scorer with 13 but yeah no martial assist wise did we have anyone no so in the premier league we really didn't perform that well let's actually take a look at the overall stats and everything if, if we're looking at it this way Cody Gakpo was the one who delivered this season goals wise martial as well and two of our other top gold scorers both injured for this final we're gonna have to discuss how we should set up against Real Madrid without two of our key players. It's not going to be easy. I'm actually still thinking whether this is the right system. Should we go for a normal 4-4-2 and have Brennan play alongside Martial? Or maybe should Ivan Tony be the one starting? I'm, I'm still so confused, man. Champions League final. Both these guys being injured uh, is just so frustrating. But it's also a chance for Sam Arnold and Brennan Johnson, who've been here basically from day one, to be heroes for Nottingham. I think you're you know what i like that story i think i'm gonna stick with them so this is it the final game of the nottingham forest career mode win this eternal glory and we're up against one of the best teams in the world let's give it everything this is it that's what we're playing for the big champions league and madrid are the kings of this competition it's fitting that we're playing against them here okay we need to be careful with our approach because real madrid can kill you off if you try and like be super aggressive because they know how to soak up pressure so gotta be careful Oh, Vinicius is running through, and that's the scariest thing in football. You've just got to back off and make the challenge the right moment, like how Neko Williams has just done. This game's going to be scary, man, with their team. Martial is having to drift wide to create opportunities for us. 
Holy Gakbo is decent in the air. We might try and loft this one. Gakbo win for it. Oh, boy. Gonzalez looking for Mane. No, 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 oh. no. Not this way. Not this way. Sadio Mane in also what could be his last game as a professional footballer. He's trying to do everything to win that Champions League again. Oh, this is nice. Renan Lodi looking for Cody Gakbo. We found so much space. Four to one. Oh, how do you stop that? Corner and definitely against Real Madrid. I am not putting the ball in because they just know how to defend them. So easily as Sam Arnold with a bit of space. Blocked off. Mane again, and I am backing off. Oh, he looks for that pass. This is bad. Dean Henderson. I tell you, in the Champions League, you need keepers to do something extraordinary. And Dean Henderson, if I was to give a player of the season award, it'd be him. 100%. Guys, Real Madrid are really looking very dangerous. And I just can't seem to do anything. We still have the ball. We still have the ball. Need to make the most of this attack now. Martial looking for Gakpo. Gakpo and Cody. Gakpo does it. Oh, my days. I'm losing my voice. Gakpo puts this into the lead. And I won't lie. Completely against the runner play. That run from Neko Williams will be remembered forever. Champions League heritage from Neko Williams and Cody Gakpo, the man with the finishing touch. Advantage, Nottingham Forest. Guys, I think I know this might be anti-football, but to win it, you gotta do things like that. I think I'm gonna make a defensive change. I'm not liking having Brennan at Cam. The 5-2-3 worked for us in the FA Cup final. I think I wanna run that now. So on comes Nia Kate. He needs to deliver. Brennan Johnson's done his job. He he was good in the first half, but second half, we're switching to a five at the back. We've got the lead. Let's not be silly. We need to secure this Champions League in what could be our final game of this Nottingham career mode. A few moments later. No, 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 no. We go five at the back, and instead of being defensive, we end up conceding. Have I messed up my strategy? I think I have. Oh, from kickoff, our team wasn't set up well. What was Nia Karte doing? Shocking. Absolutely shocking. Our plan has backfired. Completely backfired. I can't believe this has happened. Oh, but Anthony Martial broken through. He's giving it everything. Martial. Oh, let's go, boys. Anthony Martial deserves to win this Champions League for the season he's having. He is not going to let us lose this game. We're back in the lead. And now with the five at the back, let's freaking defend. Too many inside. Bruh. Oh, they missed. Musiala missed. I thought that was in. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Sadio Mane. No, Dean Henderson once again. Bro, this five at the back, it's just chaotic, man. What have I done? I've literally built my team to now lose this game, I feel. Anyways, 10 minutes to go. <laughs> Let's just pray they don't score. Okay, finally, I'm seeing the benefits now. Finally, I'm seeing the yes. benefits. No, Cody Gakpo, nine times out of 10, he will score that. How did he miss? You know what? I'm just going to pass it back to the keeper. I hate playing like this, but guys, this is a Champions League final. I am trying to waste as much time as possible. Move the ball around as much as I can. Let's take it wide with Neko Williams, boys. And let's just hold him off. Hold him off. Come on. Uh, and, and we've earned the free kick. This is called elite game management. What a tosser. Ball for the pass ahead. Ward Prowse, you know how to keep the ball better than anyone else here. Just, just keep it easy. Keep it with you. Just one minute to go. Move it around. Pass it back. And that should be done. We've done it. Elite game management. And in four seasons, we've taken Nottingham Forest to the very top of football. Champions League. On believable oh this feels emotional man this series has been so amazing and to, to take this team from where it was to now the champions league it's been a special journey and i want to thank you all for being involved in it and being a part of it but that's it all good stories must come to an end and our journey with nottingham has come to an end in the best possible way and that's that for this one i will see you guys for the next career mode series we do i haven't decided what it is but the story will be amazing but if you enjoyed my journey with nottingham forest you will definitely enjoy me become the world's best manager. Click here to watch it.